The whole story has finally made its way back around again with Festival of the Lost, and it has many, many perks updated over the course of the event. As of now, it has some stunning perk combos that I would rate being the best version it has to offer. With Festival of the Lost being limited time, is the following worth getting? And is the God War worth investing in? Let's find out. A whole story is a 450 AR position frame that has had many, many versions come and go, and none of them really pushed the players through with its unlockable combinations. One common change that many people may be interested in though is how it is now a stasis type and not a kinetic type. This works well for stasis builds and how stasis will be getting a buff in the next coming seasons, so if you are after a reliable stasis AR, then the following may be best to aim for. Secondly, the weapon comes with two origin traits. Both origin traits overall improve the weapon's performance and can make it handy to be used in PvP if you're looking for a reliable PvP AR. However, the biggest bonus of using the weapon now is its updated random perk rolls that you can easily farm, as long as you're happy with farming haunted lost sectors. Outside of the common perks you would see on most AR such as Demolitionist, Warpool, Adrenaline Junkie, Frenzy, etc. We do have some popular and new traits that everyone tends to see every now and then. Combo 1 is Demolitionist and Adrenaline Junkie which is a very common trait that you'll see on most weapons these days. Not only will you be getting damage bonus via Adrenaline Junkie's effect which in turn works out well for the AR and is good magazine size, but this in turn will be granting users grenade ability energy back via the Demolitionist perk. Combining the two creates a perfect loop for those who enjoy grenade based builds a lot. In fact, something like this will probably fit best with anything walk based, specifically Stasis Warlock that uses Stasis Turrets, as this here will fit that setup you have in mind and will be great for end game content. Combo 2 is Elemental Capacitor and Target Lock. A suitable all rounder combo that is ideal for those that want a PvE and PvP AR all in one. Capacitor allows players to pick and choose which elemental best pick their preferred weapon stat without the need of farming for that perfect roll. Target Lock of course is going to be giving you a consistent damage boost the longer it stays fire at a target. With how simple this perk is, you can add a backup mag mod to this for example to increase its overall magazine for more consistency. Of course, you can swap this out for Frenzy instead which can stay active without the need of the player actually firing the weapon. Overall, a super combo that is as basic as it comes for many ARs. Combo 3 is Enlightened Action and Frenzy. This is more of a PvP combo because of how much is going on for the weapon already, but it can work in PvE as well. As a position frame, its recoil pattern is really consistent enough to where you don't need to worry about what's in your first and second perk column too much. Add to that, its origin trait, Nadia Focus, increases the weapon's accuracy and range by quite a bit all by having sustained fire active. Now, combine that with the enlightened action which improves weapons handling reload speed and frenzy which does the same thing but also adds on a damage buff and you'll have probably one of the best and most consistent ARs for dueling in PvP. I know ARs aren't the most effective dueling weapon in PvP, especially against hand cannons or pulse rifle users, but the weapon stat alone is enough for doing really really well with without much downside being built into it and without much being needed by the player. Overall, this is one of the best ARs to have right now for this season event, as it has more worthwhile perks worth investing in. It's not a big game changer, but it does offer some room improvements for those that want to stay as AR, and also those that actually like using ARs a lot. With its decent stats out of the package, it's highly recommended for a new like to at least grab a few versions of it at most, as this is one of the most easiest weapons to get, and truthfully, it will carry many players into end game until you then find something better. But what do you think? So, there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.